talked about it on here before. It's always a little unclear. All right, well, let's make it really simple. Okay. Um, you're always emitting information. Mm -hmm. Everything physical is always emitting information. Mm -hmm. If you're animated with life, you're emitting, you're emitting energy and information. Mm -hmm. So what most people do is they say, I want the new house, the new car, the new relationship. I want a, a big bank account. I want my private jet. You know, they do all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And then they visualize that. But when they visualize it, they never get in touch with how it would feel if it happened. Mm -hmm. In fact, they're hypnotized. In, and conditioned into feeling the emotion when it happens. Mm -hmm. So they may do a little, a little meditation or a little whatever, and they open their eyes and their senses say it's not there. Yep. So what do they do? They experience more lack, yep. more separation. So when you're feeling lack and separation, you try harder. Yep. And now they try matter to matter to try to produce the outcome because they're feeling separate from their future. Yep. So then... Thoughts are the electrical charge in the quantum field, and feelings produce a magnetic charge in the quantum field. Yep. And how you think and how you feel broadcasts electromagnetic energy that influences every single atom in your life. The thought sends the signal out, and the feeling draws the experience back to you. Yep. So then if the person is living in anger, impatience, resentment, frustration, and they're holding the intention of their future... That's mind and body in opposition. There's, 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 not a, there's no vibrational match between anything in their future because they're saying, why hasn't it happened? Yep. And they're waiting for their healing to begin so that they feel gratitude. Mm -hmm. They're waiting for their success to feel abundance yep. or empowerment. They're waiting uh, for their new relationship to feel love. Well, that's the old model of reality of cause and effect, Newtonian physics. Yep waiting for something outside to change how we feel inside. And if, if you're living in that lack and you consciously or unconsciously know that you're creating your future, you're creating more lack. And if you're reacting to the people and conditions in your life that are all known to you, then your thoughts and feelings are equal to everything that you know. You keep creating the same life. Mm -hmm. So then if you have to truly change, then close your eyes, disconnect from the environment, sit your body down, and don't get up and do anything. Yeah. Don't be in the program of the future or the past and relax into the present moment. Yeah. And now, teach your body emotionally what that future feels like before it happens. Yeah. Now, why? Well, the stronger the emotion you feel from the future you're creating, the more you're going to pay attention to the pictures in your mind. Yeah. And you're going to begin to remember your future. And biologically, it's the same as remembering your past. Yeah. So then... You have, to, you have to stay in the feeling of that future in order for you to be aligned to that destiny. And if you lose the feeling because of traffic or a coworker and you start feeling another emotion, you just disconnected from the energy of your future. Now you're back to the energy of your past. And if you tell me it's because of that person that caused it, mm -hmm. I'm going to say, oh, you're back to the unconscious program of being a victim. Yeah. You're telling me that you're allowing something or someone outside of you. Yeah to control how you feel and how you think. Yeah. And that's a program. So then it takes great consciousness. It takes great work. So when there's a vibrational match between your energy and it's synchronized with some potential in the quantum field, yeah. now you no longer have to go anywhere to get it because you're connected to the field. You're going to begin to draw events or experience to you. Yeah. And they're going to come in a way that you cannot predict. Because yeah. if you can predict them or anticipate them they're nothing new they, they have to surprise you yeah. that's the unknown right and that's that's the fun part because the brain learns by mistakes and surprises yeah. why not a few surprises yeah. and when the when that event lands in your lap and it comes out of nowhere you will look back at all the betrayals all the traumas all the things that happened in your past and you will not want to change one thing in your past because yeah. it brought you to that moment. And yeah. that's the moment the past no longer exists. So people are healing from their pasts in a lot of ways when they do this work. And, and the side effect of all of this is they feel so whole, so happy with themselves. Yeah. They no longer want anything. Like all the things they want, they don't really want the house or the, all the, all the, they're, they're happy with themselves.